Hey, welcome everybody. Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV. How's everybody doing? Got a 2021 game, Miami at New York. Mets Shea Stadium. And um, it's going to be, let's see, a guy named Niedert versus Walker. Walker's a B, Niedert's a C. Now, Niedert wasn't very good. He had a 1.5 whip, whereas Walker had a 1.1 whip. Um, for Miami, it's going to be Dickerson on left field, Rojas a shortstop, Marte the center fielder, Aguilar the first baseman, Anderson the third baseman, Duval the right fielder, Chisholm the second baseman, Wallach the catcher, and Nieder the pitcher. For the hometown Mets, it's Nimmo in center, Lindor at short, Conforto in right, Alonzo at first, Dominic Smith in left field, VR the third baseman, McNeil the second baseman, McCann the catcher, and Taiwan Walker, the pitcher. Let's get started. We're playing fall classic baseball and uh, play ball. We're reading, uh, throwing the two D sixes, double D sixes. You can look them up. Just called double D sixes. I printed this out from the replay PC game, which is what you see on the screen. And then of course D twenty is going to be our out die. Can tell us what kind of an out it is. It's a twenty one. That'll be a strikeout. So Taiwan Walker blows a fastball by Dickerson for the first out of the ball game. Miguel Rojas next right-handed hitter and a 42. That'll be ball four. So he walks Rojas. So a K and a walk to start off the game for Walker. Next is Starling Marte. Beast 45. And a seven that's lifted to left. Under it is Dominic Smith. Route number two. To the plate is Jesus Aguilar, right-handed hitter. Pitch to Aguilar, and that's a 34, and that will be a fly ball. Rip to center field right there is Nimmo, and that retires the side. So no runs, no hits, a walk, one left. And we move to the bottom of the first. No score with the Mets coming to bat, Brandon Nimmo. I need neater now. I have I've written I've written down all the pitchers who pitched to make it easier on myself, um, and and I may me, you know mess around with that depend on the situation of course. Um, but Brandon Nimmo against neater now I need neater to go at least four innings. That's what he did in this game, so I don't have to start looking for other pitchers. But if I do, I do. You get all the players with this game, sixty-two, and that's an. Fly ball to right field. Duval, he's there. Out number one. So Nimmo flies out to right. Here's Francisco Lindor, switch hitter, batting from the left side. And he is going to strike out. Swing and miss by Lindor. Next up is Conforto, left hitter. That's a 34, and that'll be banged up the middle, and that's through into center field for a base hit for Comforto. Pete Alonzo now. Alonzo, big power hitter for the Mets, hit 37 home runs, pitch from Nieder, and that's a 32, which will be a line drive in the gap. That's going to split the outfielders and roll to the wall. Let's see if the runner scores from first with two outs. If a W arm, Marte does not have the W arm, I'm not even going to check. So they're going to hold Conforto at third. It's going to be second and third now for the Mets with two outs. Up comes Dominic Smith, lefty hitter. And the pitch. And it's a 46 with a 9. And that will be a foul ball out of play. Let's do it again. Pitch from Nieder. And that's a 66. That's going to be... A deep drive, deep drive to right field, and that ball is gone. Three-run home run by Dominic Smith. Three, four, and five. So three RBIs for Dom Smith, and the Mets lead at three nothing here in the bottom of the first inning. So uh, Nieder served up a meatball, and Dominic Smith took advantage. Here's Jonathan VR. 54 chart, and that's going to tell us to go to Wilder. And Wilder says, stretching single into double. Look at left fielder's arm, Dickerson. 
Dickerson has a, a um, hold on. Um, S arm gets one to five. A is one to three. So one to three, he's out. Trying to stretch a single into a double, and he is safe with a double. So VR strokes a ball into the gap and turns the single into a double with his hustle and speed. And here is McNeil. Jeff McNeil with two outs. Pitch from Nieder, and that's a 31. That's a ground ball through the right side for a base hit. Let's see if VR will score here with two outs, and he does. Four nothing Mets. Next is James McCann, and a 16, a swing and a miss, and he goes down on strikes, and that ends the inning. Four runs come in on one, two, three, four hit, five hits, so one, two, three, four, five hits. And the Mets lead it by a score of 4 nothing. Go to the top of the second. Brian Anderson leading off against Taiwan Walker. And a 32 will be a drive over the center fielder's head, and that's going to hit off the base of the wall. Digging for two is Anderson. He... Gets there easily. Throw comes in late. So Anderson with lead off double, and that's going to bring it up Adam Duval. Adam Duval gets traded later on in the season, but so far at the beginning of the season, he's with the 23, and he checks his swing. They check with the first base umpire, and he went around. Duval doesn't agree with it. Muttering under his breath. Here's Chisholm, Jazz Chisholm, a lefty hitter with a 62. And that's bounced to short. Runner, I believe, will advance. Yes, he does. In the hole, making it to third, is Anderson. Two out. Chad Wallach, catcher. Right handed hitter, pitch from Walker, and a 64. Struck him out. And that retires the side. No runs, one hit, one left. We went to the bottom of the second inning. We need we need uh, Neater to go at least four innings for us to make our life much easier. Here is Taiwan Walker leading off with 33, and that'll be a strikeout. One away. Brandon Nimmo, he flat out to right. And it's a 52. That's going to be a strikeout. Oh, no, he misses the strikeout, so it's going to be an error most likely. On the check the center fielder Marte and Marte did what? See what kind of error rate he yep, he makes an error. 52, and it's gonna be a one base error. E8. So Nimble's on at first. Next up is Francisco Lindor, the pitch, and that's a 33, which will be ball four. So he walks. That puts runners on first and second. Here comes Michael Conforto, pitch from Nieder, and that's a 35. Will be an out, kind of an out, a seven. That's a fly ball. Lifted to left center field. Dickerson comes over, settles under, and squeezes it for out number two. And here's Pete Alonso. Pete Alonso with one swing of the bat. And give the, the Mets a 7 to nothing lead. Here's a pitch, and that is a 15. So it's a fly ball deep center field. On the run is Marte, and Marte tracks it down to end the inning. No runs. And Aaron a walk, so they leave two. And we go to the top of the third inning. Pitcher leads off here. Neater against Taiwan Walker. And that's a 51. That's going to be a strikeout. Number four. For Walker. Number five, he's Dickerson with a swing and a miss. Chases a high fastball for the second time. And here is Miguel Rojas. 
Yeah, 32, and that's a drive down the line. That's a fair ball into the corner. Dominic Smith plays it off the wall. Digging for second is Rojas. Here's the throw, the tag by uh, McNeil, and he is safe with a double, a two-out double for Miguel Rojas. Gives Mets pitching fits, and Marte now with two out and one in scoring position, and a 24 will be an automatic hit by pitch. Oh, um, minus four, so that would be a minus four. Um, so you know what? Uh, it is an automatic hit by pitch, but there's a minus four, so that, that'll be 20, 16. I roll a 19, so that's a fly ball right field, and that retires the side. So no hit by pitch there because I roll too high after the minus four on the pitcher's card. And here's Dominic Smith in the bottom of the third inning. Pick up Nieder. And a 22 will be a fly ball center field racing in his Marte. Marte gets there. Jonathan VR with a 43, and that'll be ball four. Jeff McNeil. Pitch to McNeil at 24, and that'll be a 1 to 17 hit by pitch with a plus 14. So that, that's a hit by pitch. McNeil is plunked. First and second. Here's James McCann. Not a very good hitter, so I don't expect him to get 42. Will be a base on balls, and we're gonna have to pull. We're gonna have to pull Nieder here. And we're gonna bring in. Uh, let's see. We're gonna bring in Detweiler. Ross Detweiler. Actually, the pitcher's up, you know, so let's hold off. Bases are loaded. Walker infield is in at the corners, back in the middle. It's a 35, and that'll be a, oh, an 11. Detweiler's slow, and McCann is slow, so that's going to be a double play. And they get out of the inning. It's going to be a 5. Oh, infield is in at the corners. Hmm. And I can get a double play. In with an 11. Hold on. I have to look at this one because this is 11 is an interesting result. So this is pretty much a chart of this game. I'm checking this out. Uh, I don't do this very often. Base is full with an 11. Runners advance. If hit to the catcher. Double play. So ground out. The white die is a five. It's a five. Three runners advance. Okay, so no double play. And runners advance on this. RBI for Walker. He drives in uh, VR, which is number six batter. So a five three put out. And now comes Nimmo, a lefty, and this is where we're going to bring in. Ross Detweiler, and Detweiler will be a B pitcher. All right, so here's a pitch to Nimmo, second and third. With a 21, struck him out, and that retires the side. But the Mets pick up a run on a hit by pitch, a, a couple of walks, and then a ground ball. <coughs> Excuse me. Top of the fourth. Here we come. It's going to be uh, Aguilar leading off in the top of the fourth against Taiwan Walker with a 65. Ooh, that's a pitcher home run. And it's going to be 1 to 15. And with a 13, that's a deep drive to left, way back, and that ball's gone. Home run, Aguilar. Five to one. Next up is Brian Anderson. 
with a 36, and that'll be a ground ball to short, scooped up by Lindor. Throws a strike to Alonzo for the first out of the inning. Duval is next, and that's a 62. And he bounces one to up the middle, and Lindor gets there, spins, fires, throws in the dirt, but Alonzo scoops it out. Two away. And here's Jazz Chisholm with a 12, and that'll be a ground ball to first. Alonzo is going to flip to the pitcher covering, and that retires the side. One run on one hit, the solo home run by Aguilar, and the Marlins are on the board. Scores 5-1. to one. And here comes Lindor against Detweiler. With a 24, a 1 to 7 hit by pitch. And oh, that is a hit by pitch. A lot of hit by pitches in modern baseball. A lot of these pitchers have like plus 16. So Lindor gets bumped. Hmm. Hold on one split sec. All right. Um, runner on first. And here's Michael Conforto. I, I forgot to, I was using the right card, but I forgot to, to pencil in the. The new pitcher. Here's a pitch. And that's a 63, which will be a strikeout. So Conforto chases a slider down and away. Goes down on strikes. Next up, one for two, Pete Alonzo. Pitch from Detweiler. And that's a 44. That's going to be ripped. Not for a single. Right around first, will. Duval is arm and right. Oh, his strong arm. So he'll stop at second base. It's going to be first and second. Rips the single to right. Played on the hop by Duval. So Alonzo, Alonzo goes oppo. And it's first and second with one out. Here is Dominic Smith, the snake eyes. And a 10. That's ripped to right at Dickerson and left. An L7 for the second out. Two on for the Mets here in the bottom of the fourth. The Mets are up five to one. And here's Francis, uh, uh, Jonathan VR, who is one for one with a walk and a run scored. And a 41 should be a base on balls, and it is. That's going to load the bases. The bases are loaded for Jeff McNeil. Jeff McNeil is one for one with a hit by pitch and an RBI. Here's a pitch from Detweiler. And it's a 41. That'll be ball four, and that's going to force in a run. Everybody else moves up one. And that'll be it for Detweiler. We're looking at bringing in um, Liar, I think, is a, a lefty. We're bringing a righty. Uh, Garcia, Yumi Garcia, but I have an issue because the pitcher's coming up the bat. How many outs? Two outs. You know what? Let him let him face McCann. Let him face McCann because I don't I don't really uh, I have some subs. My subs are Sierra Cooper and Birdie, second baseman. Or shortstop. I think he plays multiple positions. Birdie. Let's see what Birdie looks like here. So Cooper's one guy. Cooper plays right field, first base. Sierra plays left field, center field, right field. Now I just need Birdie here. Hmm. To see if I can. Uh, I mean, McCann is not a very good hitter, so I'm sure Detweiler can get through McCann. I just need to find Birdie. I don't want to pull out Chisholm. There he is, John Birdie. Birdie's an infielder, so he can play five positions, three outfield positions, three infield positions, except for first base catcher and pitcher. Okay, so. Um, 
Yeah, I'm going to try to let uh, Detweiler pitch to McCann. Hopefully he can manage that. Bases are loaded, 6-1. to one. And here's the pitch to McCann, and McCann is going to be 41. That's going to be another walk. Frustrating. That's going to drive in another run, 4. So the bases are loaded again. And now the pitcher's up, and there's no way the pitcher's going to... I mean, he has... There's no way. Here's that while to the pitcher with a 23. Struck him out, and that ends the inning. Perfect. It worked out. All right. They give up a couple of runs on one hit and four walks. Mets are of 7-1. to one. The Top of the fifth, we're going to have a Wallach and then a pinch hitter. It's going to be a 54. We're going to do the 54 check. And that is a pop-up to shortstop for the first out. All right, it's going to be, uh, let's see, it's going to be Selefti Sierra is going to pinch hit for the pitcher. McNaris Sierra with a 45, and that will be a line out to third. Rips one. Oh, no. Oh, the first for out number two. So hit it on the screws, but right at Alonzo. So two outs. And here's Dickerson. And it's 25, which will be a fly ball. Center field on the run is Nimmo, and Nimmo runs it down to retire the side. Actually, hold on. Uh. Should have been that wireless. That wireless uh, struck out. All right, so Wallach pops up. No, we got a pinch hitter. Uh, that's not it. We got one out, pinch hitter Sierra, and he lines out to the first baseman, and then we got a fly out by Dickerson, and it's the bottom of the fifth, the Mets are coming up, top of the order, and we're going to bring it in. A guy named Blyer. Had all the pitchers set up and I moved them. I think here they are. Yep. Yeah. Richard Blyer is coming in. Lefty pitcher. He will be a B pitcher. Against Brandon Nimmo. Lefty on lefty. Here's a pitch to Brandon Nimmo. Nimmo is 0 for 3 today. So he's struggling a bit with a 66. And that's a drive in the gap. That's going to split the outfield and roll to the wall. Digging for second is Nimmo. And he's in there with a nice stand-up slide. Head of the throw. So Nimmo leads off with a double off of Blyer. Next up is Lindor. Switch hitter batting from the right side. A 31. That's bounced up the middle. And that's through for base hit. See if the run will score. No. First and third, nobody out. Michael Comforto, the lefty. Shoot for the double play here. And that's going to be a 44, and that's going to be base hit. One run comes in. Runner on first will hold it second. So an RBI single for Comforto, his second single of the day. Picks up an RBI, and that's lead it 8-1 to one here in the bottom of the fifth. Pete Alonzo is next. Alonzo is 2 for 3. Pitch uh, 21. Struck him out. Dominic Smith is next. 
and that is a snake eyes which will be a bounce to the short scooped up by Rojas and that retires the side one run oh no wait a second wait a second first and second with a 16 is going to be uh, a one. Oh, a one runners advance. So they get one at second base. Or shortstop S A. Rojas is it would be a turn. It could turn a double play. Oh no! If it's a one, there's an advance. Hold on a second. Uh, there's a lot of stuff on this. On this result okay it's going to be a 6-3 in runners advance so it's going to be second and third now and up comes Jonathan VR batting switch hitter batting from the right side and here's a pitch from Blyer and that is a 45 which will be a line drive and caught by the third baseman to retire the side. So a nice catch by Brian Anderson. One run comes in on three hits. Here we go to the top of the sixth. Miami's bringing up Dickers, uh, Rojas, Marte, and Aguilar against Walker. That's a 46 and a 13. He's a righty hitter, and a 13 will be popped up, caught by the first baseman. So it's F05. Foul ground. Here's Starling Marte. Marte's 0 for 2. He's fly out twice, and it's a 45. And that'll be a fly ball to center field. Settling under it is Nimmo, and he squeezes it for out number 2. And here's Aguilar, who is 1 for 2 with a home run. And a 32 will be a drive in the gap. And that's going to be one hop off the wall. Going to second is Aguilar. Slides in ahead of the tag for a two-out double. So that's the second hit of the day. And here is Brian Anderson with a 41. And that will be ball four. Pitching coach is going to go out and talk to Walker here in the top of the sixth inning. Duval is next. Here's a pitch, and that's a 26 against a lefty. Would be a single. Otherwise, it's a bouncer. Up the middle, McNeil gets it, plants his feet, fires to Alonzo, and get just gets Duval to retire the side. No runs. One hit. They leave a couple, and we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. And McNeil leading it off. We're gonna get a new pitcher now. Going to be uh, Garcia, Yimmy Garcia. These are the guys they were using during this game. It doesn't really matter. They're getting blown out anyway. But this guy's a righty, so let's see what kind of stuff Garcia is going to have. He will have his B stuff. Yimmy Garcia versus McNeil. 2021 Fall Classic Baseball. Check out Fall Classic Baseball. Baseball, you get all the players, you get all the seasons. It's a great, easy to play game. I'm an Apple guy. I play Strat. And this game is, you know, just as simple. Once you get the hang of it, I've got about 15 different tutorial videos. You can always check those out. I go at different paces, I, I focus on different aspects of it. I actually go over the cards, the quick outs chart. Got kind of 15 to 20 different types of, of analysis of this game. So you can always check that out. McNeil against the new pitcher, Yimmy Garcia. You know, you can't let this modern pitcher go more than an inning. Remember that. And they got to face at least three batters. Here's the pitch to McNeil leading off the inning. That's a 65 pitcher home run, and that's a drive down the line into right field corner, and that ball is gone. Home run for Jeff McNeil. He hit uh, seven home runs. And the Mets now lead it 9-1. to one. So McNeil gets a hold of a fastball and drives it, pulls it. Here's McCann. So rude uh, welcome for uh, Yimmy Garcia. 56. Checks his swing. They check with the first base umpire. He went around. 
Taiwan Walker's up. Let, let him bat with a 55. Struck him out back to back K's for Yimmy Garcia. And he's going to be Brandon Nemo. Top of the order. Nemo today is 1 for 4. And he's going to get a 53 with a 13. That's going to be a range check against the shortstop, Rojas. And Rojas is hitting a hole. Will he get to it? Rojas, no. It's by him for a base hit. So second hit of the day for Nemo. Mets now have 11 hits. Next is Francisco Lindor with two out and one on. Pitched from Garcia, 52 and a 19. It's an error check number. And it's against a shortstop, and 19 is way too high. We feel his choice, and that ends the inning. No, no one run, a home run on two hits. And we move to the top of the seventh inning. A little bit of a blowout here, 9-1 to one Mets. Taiwan Walker still in there for the seventh inning. Probably his last inning because uh, 51 on an 18. That will be an error check on the catcher. McCann, but that's too high, so it'll be a, a, um, a G2. A little number in front of the plate, and Chisholm almost beats it out. Wallach is next. 62, and that'll be a bouncer again in front of the plate. The odds of that happening are unlikely, but it happened here. And we're going to get a pinch hitter. It's going to be, what do they use? They use Cooper. So Cooper will pinch hit, and we'll have to see Bass. Oh, man. I need the... Garrett Cooper will be batting. Here's a pitch from Walker, and that's going to be a 35, which will be a bouncer to short. And when Lindor has got it, and he throws a strike to Alonzo for, wait a second. That's wrong. Back up one, two, three again. Pinch hitter. Cooper. And then, of course, it's a ground that's short to end the inning. And we're going to get a new pitcher. It's going to be Bass. Hopefully he can go a couple of innings, seven and eight. His stuff will look like a B. So Anthony Bass. All right, against Conforto. And here's the pitch. That's a 21, strike three. Conforto goes down on strikes. Pete Alonzo. Alonzo with a 35, and that'll be a bounce to the second base. Two away. And here's Dominic Smith with a 61, and struck him out. Three up and three down, easy inning. Top of the eighth inning. Top of the order should be Dickerson now with a 62. And Dickerson bounces out to first baseman who flips to the pitcher covering three to one for the first out of the inning. Miguel Rojas, one for two today with a walk and a double on a 61. Check swing. He went around. Umpire rings him up. And Starling Marte. And that's going to be bounced to third. Over to first, and that retires the side. Easy inning. Now we got to look for another pitcher. Let's see who we got. Who we can use. Campbell or Pop. I believe I have Pop. We'll bring in Pop here.
to get all the players, so you have to go through the card sometimes. I saw a pop in here somewhere. Hmm. There it is, Zach Pop. We'll be coming in for one inning. This stuff will be B stuff. You're in the bottom of the eighth. That's the first time I'm using the Miami Marlins from 2021. All right, here's VR leading it off. Pop with the pitch at 36 and it's bounced to second base. Just in better hurry and just gets VR by half a step. So it's a 4 3 put out. McNeil next, and that's a 34, and that's banged up the middle and a through. That will be McNeil's third hit of the day. He's reached all five at bats single, hit by pitch, walk, homer, and single again. So he's having some kind of day. Jeff McNeil. Here's James McCann. With a 56, swing and a miss, and he goes down on strikes. Second, third time he struck out today, and it's going to be it for Walker. Usually I should have took, took out Walker after the seventh, but I let him go on extra inning. It's no, not the end of the world. Um, we're going to pinch hit uh, Pilar. Kevin Pillar will pinch it. Here's a pitch from Pop. And a 41. Ball four. So puts runners on first and second with two outs. Top of the order for the Mets. The Mets are leading nine to one. Here's Brandon Nemo's going to two for five on the day, and he's going to get another base hit here. Rips one to center field with the run score from second. No, the bases will be loaded. I'm going to hold up McNeil at third. Got the red light. Bases loaded for Francisco Lindor. Lindor's got a hit, a walk, a hit by pitch, so he's one for three today. Struck out and hit into a fielder's choice. So Pop versus Lindor with two outs and the bases loaded. Here's a pitch, and that's going to be a 64. Lindor bounces to the shortstop and goes to the second baseman for the force, and that retires the side. We go top of the ninth, last licks for the Miami Marlins. A new pitcher. It's going to be uh, Castro, Miguel Castro. For the Mets. See what kind of stuff Castro will have. He will have his B stuff. Right, he will face Aguilar. And here's a pitch, and that is a 35. And that's ripped to third and caught. L5. So he laces one. But caught by the third baseman, a 16. But Brian Anderson chases a high fastball for out number two here in the top of the ninth. So the Mets are one out away from victory. Easy victory, 9-1. to one. Mets with nine runs, 13 hits, no errors. Miami with one run, four hits, and one error. Brian Anderson today's 0 for 3. Oh, actually, Brian Anderson just struck out. So now it's Adam Duval. Pitch from Castro. And that's going to be a 41. That will be ball four. So Castro loses Duval here with two outs. And next is Jazz Chisholm. And the 16. Check swing. He went around. Ball game is over. No runs. A walk. One left, no hits in that inning, and that's the ball game. Final score is nine to one Mets, nine thirteen zero, one four one. 
each of them strikes out. And that is all, my friends, for this game. Let's look. Taiwan Walker is 1-0. And neither is 0 and 1. And McNeil gets the MVP. Mets are 3 and 1, while the Marlins are 6 and 1. And that is it. So that was game four of the season. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care. Join the Universal Baseball Association Facebook group. Great fun group. Great bunch of guys. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel. And ask me any questions you have about the game. And I'm always there. And I uh, follow up on, on any questions and so on. So take care, guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you soon with more 2021 action.